Greetings, fellow carbon-based bipeds. I am Scott Rose, and you are watching Explosions and Stuff. Today, I'll be reviewing the 2014 film Mercenaries, starring Zoe Bell, Kristana Loken, Vivica A. Fox, and Nicole Bilderback. An overview of the movie? In response to the president's daughter being kidnapped by the warlord of a former Soviet state, the CIA recruits a team of four female prisoners, all with prior military experience. Now it's up to this ragtag group of mercenaries to infiltrate the warlord's operation, rescue the president's daughter, and bring the warlord to justice. The pros of this movie? Well, first of all, the action in this movie just started right away. The very first scene of this movie was the president's daughter in this little convoy, traveling through the desert of this former Soviet state, and the warlord's people just attacking this convoy and shooting everybody. The, the first scene was this massive gun battle, and it was fantastic. It was a great sign of what was to come and what kind of action this movie was going to have. I loved it. Also, this movie used comedy very well. They used humor very well. They didn't try to force it. They didn't try to shove it down your throat. It happened naturally. It was someone making a smart-ass comment to something that happened. I love that. I love that kind of use of comedy. It made the movie easier to believe. It made this movie more fun to watch. It wasn't just serious, bore-fest action movie time. No, there was comedy bits in there to lighten the mood and make everything happier and more fun and entertaining. Also... What kind of surprised me is the leads in this movie, like Zoe Bell and Christiana Loken and all them, and they did a very good job with their acting. They were fantastic, which really surprised me considering this was, this is an Asylum movie. The Asylum made this movie, and the acting from these lead characters was pretty damn good. The cons of this movie? Well, while the lead actors were pretty good in their acting, all of the supporting actors and all the extras were just really, really stiff. Like, there was this huge drop-off in acting quality. Like, these people were good, and these people were garbage. And these were the supporting characters. It definitely hurt the movie. It definitely made it a lot harder to watch and a lot less entertaining. But, you know, it's the asylum. You come to expect those kind of things. Also... This movie had just horrible, horrible, cartoonish-looking CG images. Again, this is the Asylum. You come to expect those kind of things from the Asylum. But, like, the muzzle flares look cartoonish. The blood, the digital blood squibs look cartoonish. It was just bad all around. It, it's like, yeah, that is clearly fake. There's no way to deny that was fake. Obviously, that was fake. One thing about this movie, though, that really got on my nerves... Two of the female merc two of the four female mercenaries wore leather pants in the desert. Who in their right freaking mind wears tight black leather pants in the desert? I get it. You want them to wear it because you know it makes their butt look good and it makes their legs look good and because well, sexy. But no. That is idiotic and stupid. You want these people to be taken seriously as female action stars and as female action heroes, and you want these characters to be taken seriously? Don't make them look like frickin' sex objects. Let them dress realistically as to what actual mercenaries would dress like. No leather pants, no leather vest with no shirt underneath. None of that's a good idea. None of that is realistic. All of that is stupid and idiotic. Let them dress like actual mercenaries and people with military training. The best action scene in the movie? That would have to be Clay mounting the prison break. It was just fantastic. She had this she had these hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes that were just the fighting was ugly, but it, it, it was effective. It was one of those where it's like it doesn't look pretty, but it gets the job done. It wasn't horribly choreographed. It was just the fighting style that looked bad. It was like I don't you know, it's like it's not well trained, but it works. It's not meant to be pretty, it's meant to be effective and get the job done and kick everybody in the head and break their legs and stuff. So in that sense, I love that. It's a great change of pace from all these action movies where it's like everybody knows kung fu. You know, the janitor knows kung fu. 
The hero knows kung fu. His little two-year-old baby knows kung fu. So this is a nice change of pace. This isn't, oh, I know kung fu and all these other Eastern martial arts, I'm going to kick your butt. No, this is just get the job done, punch you in the liver like six times, go at it, go good, we're good to go. It looked ugly, but it looked great. I loved this action scene in the movie. An overview of the movie? To put it simply, this movie is good for what it is, and I give it one thumb up. Now, this movie was made by the Asylum, so a good number of people are going to hold that against it. But I don't think that's fair. Does this movie have a deep and engaging story? No, but it's entertaining and it's fun to watch. If you don't like B-action movies, then this is not going to be something you're interested in. However, if you do enjoy cheesy, low-budget movies, then you should check out Mercenaries. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel for new action movie reviews posted every week. Also, if you have any recommendations for movies you would like me to review in the future, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and have a nice day.